In today's video, I'm going to give you a full beginner's guide to the Ecom Send pop-ups and the email pop-ups Shopify app. So the first thing you want to go ahead and do is click the link in the top of the description. Once you click that, it should take you to this page here. And from here, you can go ahead and click on the install button. And that should go ahead and open up on your Shopify store. And you should be able to click install here. And then it should properly install onto your store once and for all. Okay, so once we've done that, we need to go ahead and first of all, set up, use their quick setup guide. So we can go ahead first and click enable app embed. This is gonna open up your Shopify store. And from here, you're gonna be able to go ahead and on the left-hand side, go to app embeds. And you're gonna turn it on here. It should already be turned on by the app, but if not, just make sure it's looking like this. Then you want to go ahead and click save and go back to your dashboard. And you can see there it's now changed to on. So next up, we're going to go ahead and create our first pop-up. So we're going to click the create pop-up button and it's going to bring us to a template select here. So we've got the classic, you know, 10% pop-up here, or we've got the spin the wheel one. I'm going to show you the spin the wheel one because that's a bit more interesting. And once we've selected that, it's going to have the um, layout here. It's just a simple builder. First of all, you've got the publish or pop-up. So once you're ready, you can just turn that on and that's going to publish it to your store. We can, we can name it something. Now this isn't visible to people on the store. It's visible just to you. And then we've got our rewards here. So there's going to be six different rewards and you can go into here. You can edit it and you can select the label. So the label basically means what it says on the wheel. So you could say something like, um, 10 pound off. Next, we've got the chance it lands on it. So you can put the percent chance. It needs to add up to 100 through all of the different ones. We can select the, the discount they get from it. So for this one, I would put a fixed amount and I put 10 pound off. And you can go ahead and you can set an expiration date or you can have it so you have to enter a discount code man manually. This is good if you've got some kind of buy one, get one free offer or something like that. Next up, we can change the other ones. So this one's no luck. There's a 0% chance they're going to get that. Uh, you can turn that one off. And you basically edit each of these, giving them a different label, different discount, different chance, but make sure they add up to 100. You've got a sticky discount bar. So display a sticky discount bar at the top of your website after successful subscription. I'd recommend showing this. Um, that means that people will just remember that they've got a discount code up here. So it's quite a cool one. You've got the sidebar widget as well. So if someone declines it, it's going to stay there. You can turn that off if you want to, or you can keep it on. And then we have the trigger select here. So does it go on all devices or just desktop or just mobile? And then when it triggers, so immediately after a few seconds, after they've scrolled a certain way down the page, when they try to exit the page, um, we've got the frequency. So how often it's shown, if it's shown every time someone goes onto it, or maybe you can do it once a day for example you can select the pages it shows on so you can have any page or specific ones and you can have the location rules as well so which countries it shows in and then we have schedule as well you can set time periods that get shown between now lastly down here you can go ahead and remove the branding for free you just have to go ahead and contact them it's going to open a pop-up here just send them the message and they'll go ahead and remove it for you so next up we have the content and the content is essentially, it's going to be things like the title. So you've got spin to win. It's going to be the description. It's going to be the form that they need to fill in to actually get the, the, the uh, discount. Uh, you can change the text here. You've got your congratulation text. Uh, and just basically all of the other things like your sticky bar, uh, your error text, your side budget text. Everything there is basically text based. And lastly, you have your style. So here you can add a logo in. So I've just added a logo in there. You've got your alignment, um, your corner radius. So you can make it look a bit more curved on the edges. You've got images and you've got your color settings down here and you've got custom CSS if you want to. You can also click on all of these different parts here. So these are the different steps that you've got. And if you go here, you can select mobile view to see what it looks like on mobile basically. Once you're happy with how it looks, you can go ahead and click save. And as long as you've pressed the publish button, it should be ready to go on your website. And you click preview this pop-up, it's gonna to go to your store. 
And you can see here, it works. It's on our store and ready to go. Now from here, we can go ahead to the subscribers button. And this is gonna tell us where all the different subscribers are, all the different subscribers we've actually got from the app. It's gonna, they're gonna show up here, you know, with their name, their address, all that kind of stuff here. You've got the get help section here. So if you need any support for some reason, and then we've got the recommendations here, which is just apps that they recommend that you use. Now, if you also go back to this, this main page here, there's gonna be some stuff here, such as your data. So, you know, the views that your pop-ups had, the subscribers it's had, the conversion rate, the views to subscribers, all that kind of stuff. And you can go here to the top and select it by a specific pop-up if you want to compare um, the conversion rate of specific pop-ups. If we go back to pop-ups again, I'm going to create a new pop-up. I'm going to create the original one, so not the spin the wheel one. And you can see it's pretty much the same thing. It's got all of the same stuff here, like all your rules, um, exactly that we just spoke about. So you can scroll through here and look at all those. Your content, which again, all the same. You've got the fields here. So if you want to add a different form, you can. So if you want to add, so get someone's phone number, you can add that. If you want to... Um, Get, have a consent box for SMS, you can add that. If you want GDPR box, you can have that. So you can add all of these onto them uh, just so you can get people's emails and stuff so you can send to them basically. Again, styling and everything else is the same as before. You can go ahead and just change it all. Click save when you're done and then go to your site. Now something else you can do is if you go to your online store, you can go ahead and click customize and you should be able to go to the app section here and add a block you should be able to go down here and if they've got any blocks or they're adding any new blocks they're going to put them here so if i scroll down let's see if they've got any so they don't have any currently right now but if they add any they should show up in that bit there which means you can add it to specific pages within shopify and then the last thing here is that they have their other offers that they've got here so they've got other apps they recommend that you try and they're going to give you discounts off for these apps so it's quite cool um, so yeah if you if you want to try any other apps make sure to do that because you will get a discount so that's basically how you use the ecom send pop-ups app for shopify if you enjoyed the video and found it useful be sure to like and subscribe and also comment down below it helped you out and if you have any other questions about this app or another app or anything to do with Shopify, let me know down below and I'll go ahead and make that video. So thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.